Hey everybody, thanks for sticking with us. I'm glad that you didn't go anywhere. We're now standing in front of the Forza 38F and I have Nick with us and he's gonna tell us all about it. But where, do you, where would you like to start first? Well, I think what we'll do is we start off with our Forzas. There's a, a lot of things we'd like to talk about, both on some of the exterior features, some interior features, but we'll start with kind of some common features between all of our Forzas, and then as we work inside, we'll talk about some, some unique characteristics of our 38F4 plan, which we've got over here. I like that. And I just want to keep in, or I want you guys to keep in mind to give us likes, give us love, and definitely give us questions. While we got these guys here, now is the best chance for you to get the answers directly, right, you know, no Absolutely. better time. No better time than you now. Got a question, we'll get an answer. Yeah. All right. So one thing we like to talk about, just jumping into the outside here, that uh, we've done new for this year, is we've heard uh, heard some concerns about wrangling the big electric hose or electric cords. Because these guys are 50 amps. That's right. Gets a little gets a little chilly. They kind of get stiff. So one thing that we've done recently is we actually have a drop down feature in the oh, floors now, so that you can run your hose or run your cord, do whatever you need to, and then just kind of let it hang out, and then you're able to to shut your door, and it'll. It'll go ahead and be, shut. Before it was a hole that you were trying to run right, your cord yeah. all the way through and, and your cold, and cold outside. Fed through and plugged up. So that's just a, a way to make it a little bit easier on, on getting hooked up, getting tore down. And we also have that same feature over here as well with our um, water compartments where we do some of our hookups. So you can see we've got the drop down for the, for the sewer hose and for your garden hose as well. So it's just trying to add in those little convenience features, make it overall a little bit more of an enjoyable experience. Yeah. Easier is always better. Absolutely. <laughs> and I saw that you have a water filtration system. So yep. it's a whole yep. house water filtration Every system. Every coach has an onboard water filtration system. It just, you know, as you go to a lot of different campgrounds, it's, it's always a good idea just to protect the system before it comes in. So it's oh, yeah. one, little, one little feature we had to try to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Something I do whenever we get to a campground is turn the water on for a few seconds and you'd be surprised how dark the water is yes. for just those few seconds and if you would forget that without a filtration system guess where all that dirt exactly, is exactly <laughs> exactly all right so it's a good place to catch it while we're out here another thing i'd like to talk about is the truma aquago system which is optional on all of our forces this is a fantastic tankless water heater the way this works is you've got instant hot water and it's done two ways you've got both the tankless system so okay. that you can have water as you need it but then there's also a hot water loop that constantly recirculates throughout the coach. So you don't have to wait for hot water to reach your faucet or reach your shower when you want to go shower, want to wash your hands, want to do whatever. That water is right there. So it makes Which it that much easier to use, that much quicker, and? You're saving water. Absolutely. You're not waiting, Absolutely. yeah. Normally you turn the water on and it's running cold, and if you're not hooked up to a water supply, all that cold water is just being wasted right out of your fresh water tank. That's yep, awesome. Yep. That's a great system. And this is standard on the 38W, which is our two full bath model. Okay. I've tried that out. I've turned on the shower, hot water in one, taken a shower in the other one. It's kept up perfectly. Hot water. Two for showers everyone. at the Absolutely. same time, yep. hot water in both of them. Endless alone. hot water works out, <laughs> works out pretty slick. And then as you guys already heard about with the, with the horizon is we do have the uh, exterior ground, uh, ground effect lights. It's a little harder to see oh, out okay. here. Uh, pass through storage on the Forzas as well, much like there is on the Horizon. So you're able to put put uh, items all the way across. It's really try to maximize our space as much as possible. So awesome. those are kind of the, the exterior features that we want to highlight on the on the Forzas. I noticed these year. windows look very clean yes, looking too. Yes. You don't have like a frame or what, what are these? Yep. What so are we these looking are, at? These are uh, mini frame windows. We call them or, or frameless. Either way, they're kind of a, a synonym of sorts. Okay. But uh, it really does clean up the look. You look at some coaches Sharp. and they've got you see the frame all the way around oh, yeah. them. This really just gives it a clean look. Kind of like helps it. the overall flow and ties in with the graphics quite a bit better. So it's makes uh, makes for a much more sleek appearance. Absolutely. But they're, they're fantastic windows. We've been very happy with them. All right. You want to head inside? I think that sounds good. After all right. you. Thank you. This again looks very open. You have a lot of space, a lot of floor space too. Absolutely, it looks sharp. Absolutely. We want to start up front. I think so. Because I'm impressed that you guys, you know, the Horizon impressed me that it had that dash, but you guys put it now in the Forza as well. Absolutely. That, We've got the that's uh, the uh, Freightliner OptiView dash. So again, much like you saw on the Horizon, digital dash, it reduces the glare when you're going down the road. You know, we've had a lot of customers talk about it's it's hard to see, you know, from yeah. the windshield reflection, see how fast you're going, see what's going on. Batlit or backlit L C D, you're able to see everything that you need to and everything's right up there. We also do have our infotainment system as well, where you're able to control your radio. Uh, we have 
three cameras also you got one on each mirror and one on the back so you can switch between those views as you're Very going nice. down the road ten, that's a 10 inch screen also correct yeah. correct yeah so nice. it's a it's a great feature. easy to read easy to see easy to see much like the uh, much like the dash as well backlit easy to easy to see quick glance and you've got everything you need you guys got a workstation yep. here flip up workstation it has a step cover as well that comes out is that a recliner absolutely <laughs> so, so your passenger is, driving yeah. they're they're riding in style there's no about no doubt about that so they're taking very nice naps yep. while the driver is yep. going along their trip and getting a, you know well rested for when they arrive so they and get ready there to play. And they can or... set up and the driver takes a rest. Oh, that sounds good. I don't think that works. Yeah, I don't think that works. But that sounds it's really good. I like right. I like where you're going with yep. it. <laughs> but uh, there's a there's a lot of things we try to do on all of our all of our Forza Forza cabs. I mean, we've got storage right here for the passenger, but you've got a, a USB Power and a 12 volt outlet yeah, where nice. there as well. Uh, we've got some for the driver we've got some in the middle so just really trying to make sure you have everything you you need we've seen a lot of customers that they'll have one 12 volt outlet and four splitters to get everything they need yeah, on yeah. there so we're we're trying to catch That's it perfect. all in, in one you can spot. never have too many outlets no nope, nope. you just can't <laughs> we've got to draw the line somewhere i know so we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll do we'll have uh have a good start anyway want to remind everybody to send these questions in while we have Nick right here with us. And Nick, you like answering questions too. Oh yeah, I, I know. Like I know you're yeah. ready for questions. Man, we can go three or four hours with this. We'll, we'll go all day. Okay. Happy, happy to chat. And we're glad we're actually not going to do us. that, but <laughs> Nick's ready for it, That's just right. in case. That's right. So I see you got. It looks like maybe storage under here as well. Yep, we've got our, wow. our dinette this that is... converts into uh, into sleeping for okay. an individual as well, or a couple small kids if you and need, I... but. Big storage under and under I, each of the seats. And I think I saw an option for a drop-down bunk in this. Is that right? Yes. So all okay. of our Forzas do have an optional uh, overhead bunk that will drop down from a, uh, from above the passenger and driver. So if you do need that extended sleeping space, you're going to have more people along. You've, okay. you've got uh, comfortable spots for everyone. But even without that, you've got the dinette. You've got the, the sofa, which pulls out. And then you've got the uh, the queen bed in the back, but it does have an optional king as well. So we we try to accommodate as many people as we can. That's a big deal. Optional king. Hey, Kenny, we have yes. a question. Sure. Can a person get the exterior undercarriage lighting system now on the Forza 36G? Yep, so it's standard, or it's on all the all the Forzas. What was the question? So the question was, <laughs> so the question was the the out the exterior lighting. Can we get that on the existing 36 Gs? Yep, yep. The the exterior lighting is on is on all of our Forzas. So that's really nice. It's yes, sharp it, it, I uh, really like that idea for the decorative idea. You know, for your Christmas time and mm -hmm. your your holidays and things like and that. And we've got it on all four sides. So not just the patio side that you use. We do left side, right side, front and back. Nice. It's nice. the bee's knees. Let me tell you. Okay. <laughs> and you have a very nice gal. You got a really nice refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, sure. Do you know what the max length is for the Horizon? The Horizon, the 42Q, sits at 43 feet and one inch. So that is the the true length bumper to bumper on the Horizon 42Q, which everyone saw with Ryan a little bit ago. But it does have that tight turning radius Absolutely. because of the wheels. So yep. even though you're 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 in a 60 big coach. degree cut 60 degree cut you've got your your tag axle for that better ride but you're able to take the pressure off of it but yeah so mm -hmm. we'll uh, we'll bring things back to the forza while we're here yeah sounds good so i like this that this is all flush so this is increasing your countertop space that you can prep your food and get ready you have a very nice convection oven here yep. this thing is sharp three burner stove absolutely and because of the convection oven you don't need your propane oven and now you have additional More storage, storage. This, this floor plan, we really tried to put a lot of storage in. One thing we've heard a lot of is, is people really love having a pantry in their unit. So not only do we have one floor to ceiling pantry here, but we thought, why stop there? We've got a second one farther back. So And these slide out. Absolutely. Easy to make. Easy access. Yeah. You don't have to reach back there, try to get into everything. It's bring the items to you. It works out, works out pretty slick. But the, the other big feature about this floor plan that's unique to the Forzas is this is our only bath and a half model. So we've got a couple smaller ones, which are mid baths. We've got the 38W, which is the two bath, which, which I referenced earlier. And then this is the, the bath and a half. So we have okay. the, the mid bath, half bath right here. There's plenty of space. If you have guests that come over, you wanna use it, your friends visiting, they have their space that they can go and use it. And then we've got the, the full uh, master bath in the back, which also has two sinks, which is unique to a, to a lot of So it's a dual a vanity. Bathrooms. So whenever I hear bath and a half, I always think so. If your guys are 
putting that in the water tank for fresh water has to be large what what are we talking fresh water tank capacity on the 38s you've got 100 gallons of fresh water that so is a lot <laughs> plenty of water for to, to last you a while i know there's a lot of people that like to do some dry camping and like to be kind of off the grid yeah, for a, a little bit very so we try to take care of them in that sense as well but so we, you got uh windows in the slides for that cross ventilation yes, back both here of the windows open Try to add in some nice more conveniences, board. kind of like we did up front. You've got a, a little cubby over there for charging phones. There's a USB charger towards the oh. top of it, so you can put phones, tablets there while and you're And an actual place overnight. that they'll hold, and you don't have to worry about Absolutely. losing them. <laughs> Absolutely. We've got outlets on either side of the bed, which are tied to the inverter, so there's a lot of uh, advantages to that as well. Speaking of inverter, what size inverter are we? 2,000. 2,000 two, two, watts. 2,000 watts. Yep. And then house batteries? House batteries. There, We've got uh, four house batteries mm -hmm. with options for two more so plenty of plenty of battery capacity if needed so we're starting to run out of, of time a little bit so let's get into this All bathroom right. and show off these dual vanities have a glance take a look plenty of counter space plenty of storage, more storage. In, the, in the vanities or in the bathroom as well little nooks and crannies we try to try to utilize as much of the space available to really fit fit everything that everyone's going to bring along. I mean, this is a this is a great one for people that want to RV full time or if you're going to be out for an extended time. We, we really try to- It's like to, a house on wheels. Absolutely. Try to build in those comforts. Two AC units. Two AC 15, units. 15,000 BTU. Piece, both absolutely. of them. Yep. Both of them. 15, 15 BTU. So it's going to get cool. Even though we're large, yes. you're going to get cool really fast. I think we even tested it out oh, earlier because yeah. it was warm in here and we were like fired the, up the generator, yeah. turned on the AC and these things kicked out a lot of cold air and made us comfortable. We had to shut it down. It got too cold in here. So, yeah. it's... so we are wrapping up. We want to thank everybody for joining us. We just want to remind you if you would like to see more specs or any other type of information, check out winnebagoind.com to find out everything there. We're not done for today. At four o'clock, I will return with Russ on the Travato and talk about the Pure 3 system. I'm really excited about that. I think this is a wonderful system. And then we, we're going even overtime and we got another at 5 p.m. with John on the travel trailers again. So don't go anywhere today and we'll catch you back later. <laughs> we'll catch you later. See you guys later. Thanks, Thanks a lot, coming. everybody. Thank you. We really appreciate it.